Welcome to What If Blues Never Went to the Boiling Isles. This was one short and half a short originally, but I'm putting them together as well as adding more to the end so it can be a little bit longer, but so it can have more substance in it than just combining two shorts. The reason why I'm doing this is because I'm a little behind on one of my stories. So yeah, this is just to hold off on that. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Enough wasting time, let's get right on into it. What If Blues Never Went to the Boiling Isles is a what if that people assume was answered with the introduction of V. However, I don't think that's the case. V would not have a reason to act like Luz when she went to the camp. So V's friends are V's friends, not Luz. They may think that she was Luz, but she is not Luz. Before even going to the camp, Luz was ready to, quote, leave her real self behind. When she gets there, most likely Luz would have already cemented that in her mind. So while the others in Cabin 7 may see Luz as a friend, Luz would not see them as a friend. Because of that, Luz would start to get depressed as she did in Thanks to Them. After that, it would end one of two ways. Either Luz would get so depressed that she ends herself, or the depression turns to anger and hatred, and she becomes what fans assume Beta Luz would have become, even wearing the full outfit and all. Now, as for the Boiling Isles, Luz would not be able to reach the Demon Realm in order to basically help and survive, so everyone there is basically killed by being drained by Belos' coven seal or by being petrified. As for Belos, after his plans go through, he goes to the Human Realm expecting to be treated like a hero, but when he arrives in the forest, he is surprised and just thinks that, okay, maybe I'm just out of the town. I could just go there and explain it all. And so when he goes into town, he is surprised immediately by how much has changed. He doesn't really recognize the area, so he kind of goes around specifically asking men where he is. They will answer that he is in Gravesfield, to which he is glad about. He tries to exclaim that he finally did it. He got rid of every single witch out there and that he has returned and all of that. But nobody gives him the light of day. Bellows does not take this lightly. So he tries to basically force this ideal into someone's head. Specifically a woman because in his time, women cannot really hold anything against men. So he would try to do that. It might be loose. It might be a different girl. Who knows? For this story, let's say it was loose. Bellows would try to force loose to listen. But Luz would not give him the light of day and would just sock him right in the face, breaking his nose like Lilith did in the original story. After that, Belos would get arrested and it would end one of two ways. Either Belos would die in the cell or he would take over one of the officers and he would keep jumping from host to host, eventually getting the attention of Mr. Rex as a supernatural entity is basically taking over Gravesfield. And so Mr. X would capture him and he would die in captivity. So either way, he would die in captivity either by Mr. Rex or in the police station. And that is the full story of what if Luz never went to the Boiling Isles. You can see why it was originally just a short and a half. Maybe I can split this ending off into another short on its own. Bye, right here. And I will see you later or whatever I make. Bye.